YouTube. Today I'm coming with a special report about the ransom virus, the one that you know, the ransomware virus, the one that locks your computer. Here you can see my computer is locked. It's uh, saying all sorts of bad things that I did. That while I didn't do anything, I received a mail of a company that was saying that I still had to pay them some money. And because I know this company, I uh, I clicked the link to see uh, what I had to pay. And then bang, my computer was locked. And now I have to pay money to unlock this computer. But, you know, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you in this video how we gonna clean this computer again and how we gonna unlock it. What you need is to burn the Kaspersky disk that I spoke about in my previous video talking about this ransomware virus. And this one is from Kaspersky. And what we gonna do, in fact, is we gonna boot from that uh, CD, from that DVD. So now that we know what virus we have, we are just gonna hard turn off the computer, just turn it off and then boot up from the CD. Okay, that is really important. To get uh, to boot from the DVD or CD or even USB stick, you must make sure that you hit F12 uh, to get into the boot menu and if not, um, go into the bias and select the DVD to boot. As you see, you will boot straight into a Linux environment. We just let it boot. In fact, you just uh, hit next, next, uh, um, choose for graphic uh, environment and it will boot and if you're lucky you uh, will ha not have to worry about your Wi-Fi or your internet connection uh, many cards are supported but it could be that your Wi-Fi is not found in that case you really will have to connect a cable to the computer because you will need to connect to the internet first before doing the scan you will have to update to the latest virus definitions. This is really important. As you can see, even though the machine was locked in Windows, in Linux it's not locked, you see? So it's not that your computer is locked and you cannot do anything with it anymore. Yeah, in Windows, that is the illusion that this program, this, this virus, this, this malware wants to, you know, let us believe, but that's not true. As you can see, we are now booted into a Linux environment. In fact, it's a complete operating system, but it has a built-in virus scanner. And if this all is booted up, you will see the icon there of the Kaspersky Rescue Disk and uh, you don't have to install anything in fact what it's gonna do it's gonna run straight off from the usb stick or maybe the dvd that you burnt or cd and it will do everything from there so you know it won't be installed on your hard drive no leftovers of this linux will be on your machine when uh, this all is done and when it's all fixed and that's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna do a little update. So we're gonna let this baby update. And when we're updated, we're gonna do the scan. Okay, this is the deal. When you're booted up and Kaspersky is up and running, you first gonna hit update. Update to latest virus definitions. You see that update center? You must do that. Otherwise, it will not find any virus. Because, you know, um, in the latest virus definitions, the latest viruses will also be, you know, recognized. There will also be fixes against them. And sorry for the blur that you see here. I don't know why I'm zooming in so much. Wait, let's fix that. 
Okay, there we go. So we're gonna update, and um, you will see that uh, you will need to, you know, um, do the update first. Uh, as I already said, otherwise you will not uh, find any virus. So if you're already connected to the internet, because you cannot update if you are not connected to the internet, you must understand that, okay? So if it's with a cable or with a Wi-Fi, in my case, my Broadcom Wi-Fi card was found. Um, at least the the card in the EEP or the EPC, what was it, E720 Acer was found. So it worked just fine and uh, yeah, after this, uh, let's just update and then do the scan. Okay, and uh, it's doing the scan now. And in fact, uh, it found two viruses. It found two viruses and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna delete them here. So um, yeah, I think the machine is fixed now. So um, we can just go ahead now and, and kill the baby and restart into, uh, into Windows. There we go. Just let it go. Let it boot. There we go. And we're booting back into Windows. So let's see if this all is fixed now. Because, yeah. We don't want no locked computer here, huh? And the Kaspersky uh, that you see on the background is a reflection of my uh, computer behind me. Because I had to burn the CD there. I have no CD-ROM. Uh, in fact, uh, a good working burner in this machine. So I had to burn the CD, in fact, somewhere else. On my other machine. And let's see if this is going to work, because... Uh, I have a lot of files on this computer and it being locked on me here is not good so we must fix this hey and we are back as you can see okie doke we're almost there let's see if I can get my icons up because I have so many files on this computer and you can see that getting this is just one one link away, one click. And your whole computer is locked. Okay, we fixed it. So um, the machine is back running and up. And this is how to get rid of a locked PC that has the police virus doing all sorts of crazy things with you. Well, that's it. We fixed it. So it was really easy. We downloaded the ISO file from Kaspersky. Link will be in the description. We burned a DVD. We booted up from the DVD. We connected to Wi-Fi or internet. Um, we updated the virus scanner first. We did not go scanning immediately because we must update to the latest virus definitions. After that, we did a scan we found in total three viruses. So I think that was more than enough to get the machine back and up. Um, we rebooted and as you can see, I'm back to work. So I'm gonna do my work here, peeps. Um, continue my editing. Thank you for watching. If you think this video helped out, uh, of course, you must like, subscribe, and uh, tell me your little story. Uh, about your ransom virus uh, molesting you out there. Till my next video, bye bye.